to a different profession how, how, how what made it like no how, what was your you know what a particular kind of a career guidance kind of position Uh, sorry, I didn't get the last last question. No, uh, the what, what is that made you uh, like? No, for the paradigm shift from a corporate uh, like you know, corporate job which you are doing, from there to it. So I wanted to contribute. I got it. Got it. I wanted to contribute. I wanted to help other people. Somehow, all through my school and college life, I've always helped my colleagues and juniors, and uh, I used to be pretty happy with it. That and they would come to me. So even when I tried teaching, I was very young. In fact, I remember my MBA class. Uh, I was uh, I was uh, 23, and I started teaching. And there used to be people who were 25, 28, and but still. Uh, so I used to go to this institute called CMD Modinagar, and uh, okay. the classes would start at nine o'clock. But we used to reach around 8:15, and I used to play with the students. I used to play badminton, table tennis. So. I used to enjoy with them. I realized, wow, this is so much fun. Instead of corporates, you're to be sitting tightly. And also, of course, you are focused on certain goals. I realized that this is something which I want to take up. That's how I started uh, career counseling. And we are a career counseling specialist firm. I mean, we help people with uh, testing, aptitude testing, uh, deciding which courses, which universities, whether in India or abroad. And how do you go about doing it? So all that, all, all that we do. Now, uh, as we go on to the topic, like importance of profile building, so can you just have some uh, word? You know, just we begin before the word. You know, a deep dive into the topic. Can you just uh, know uh, narrate what is it like the importance of profile building for an individual? So, <clears throat> I'll probably talk about profile building at levels. Uh, this for a student who's in ninth and eleventh class. Uh, or even but majorly you'll do it in 9th, 10th, 11th, and second, a student in college, school students. So, profile building is two things one is intrinsic, inside you, you are changing yourself. So, yeah. your own skill set writing, public speaking, your own skills in uh, creative communication. I think uh, uh, there is some issue with your internet. Uh, we are not able to hear you. There is a disruption here. Within, sir. Jitin sir. Uh, Jitin sir, we have. Jitin sir, your voice is breaking. Uh, can you just? Uh, is it better now? Check your internet. Ah, yeah, now it is fine, sir. Okay, great. I just we we, we lost in between. Uh, uh, no problem. I'll repeat. Yeah. I'll repeat. So what I was saying was that. Sure, 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 sir. Uh, extrinsic and intrinsic. I had explained intrinsic. Intrinsic is internal to a person. So skills like. Uh, things like public speaking, writing, uh, you know, uh, creative communication, all this is uh, intrinsic. Uh, so you make a person stronger from inside uh, uh, to compete in the world. Second is extrinsic, which you will see on a CV. So uh, you would see things like uh, ECA. So when we apply for Common App, Common App is used to apply for US. So when I when I put in the details in Common App. I, I can put up 10 activities. So what are these 10 activities? ECA 1, which means extracurricular activity 1, ECA 2, internship, maybe more internship also, but at least one internship, research paper, published, research paper which is published. Then you have social project, 
then you have if you are applying for a tech course tech project then you have any competitions for example google science fair intel science fair in india uh, inspire competition done by the government ntsc at 10th class level so any competition so competitions if you are looking at you can look at dare to compete.com yeah so uh, after that any summer camps like last year uh, last year i sent uh, almost uh, 32 students to different camps in us the topmost camps cornell oh. so cornell uh, cornell was a camp uh, cornell top university in us so uh, so i had uh, almost uh, seven students who had gone there usc university of southern california and uc berkeley so these three places we sent more than 30 students and uh, you know uh, these camps are credit bearing camps so if you have attended this camp and you apply to to any us university those credits will be counted so you have to select camps also with care and then uh, any international competitions and then any music oblique dance drama sports any of these things you are doing yeah so this is your profile this is whatever i have told is more for school students people who are in 10th 11th 12th and they are trying to build up and so on but if it is a college student first and foremost internship at least two to three internship during three year or four year course whether you're doing engineering or you're doing bsc or ba at least two three to four internships when do people start doing internships i have schools in delhi like tagore international where it is compulsory to take up an internship after 10th class after 10th you have to go for an internship yeah how do we go for internships i'll discuss separately but i'm just generally sharing and then uh, uh college students uh at least two research papers published in good journals any top university in the world is a research university if you look at ivy leagues if you look at oxford cambridge they all pride themselves on to the research which they do so uh, take up uh, you know uh, take up uh, take up think of a research idea preferably if you can do it with a professor get it published in a good international journal so that when you do your applications outside india it will be recognized and then a uh, social project important online courses so these are things i would look at for people who are in various stages of graduation yeah so this is how you can look at profile building but we'll get into depth into each area and explain okay. further as we go in the conversation thank you this is a great eye opener like about the uh, summer camps and which is have the international aspect of it so this is really nice eye opener for me now. so getting into that see uh, uh, getting into the conversation like uh, what kind of exposure can we provide uh, to the junior classes we are mentioning about 11 to 12 so from 8 to 10 so that children can make more appropriate career choices so uh, how can we do i mean kind of exposures what are the uh, things we can do for them so uh, i did a very uh, i did a detailed three day program for all the dpss and you know uh, we talked to teachers uh, in 7th 8th 9th class primarily so we gave them ideas of exercise which they can do with the students like for example one simple exercise i'll give you some websites for exposure and so on but i'll also uh, before that i'll just share some examples so uh, first exercise was each student in the class has to go to one neighbor and understand what they do for career living money uh, right from morning till evening in a pre specified format so that person will come back the child will come back to the classroom and share the experience so imagine in a class there are 40 students so 40 careers are covered yeah so this was one exercise similarly we gave them an exercise of finding you will be surprised to know if you do a google search for youngest writer in india youngest chef in the world youngest chef in india you will get all these people in the age group of 6 6 years to 9 years of age can you imagine that a 6 year old person or a 7 year old 8 year old being a person who is applauded by across the world for writing a book for being for participating in young chef competition and so on yeah so so that is where i am coming from so uh, we would ask the children okay take out uh, 
take out uh, youngest writer youngest whatever and share it with other people also so a lot of children if they do their own research they themselves get upgraded also career videos can be very useful so people like me we have a youtube channel maybe i'll show it to you at the at, towards the end i think yeah i can share my screen so i'll be happy to share that with you towards the end so our youtube channel we have like uh, 190 plus videos you know we have kept a lot of videos so that we could uh, uh, help out students uh, uh, compete uh, uh, understand various career options so if they take pcm option then what if they take bio then what there are a lot of new careers which have emerged so these careers are uh, not i mean these careers are not really known for example uh, there might be careers like if i'm a bio student computational biology computer drug design health i understand the scope in computational biology yeah uh, similarly if i am a commerce student certified fraud examiner insolvency professional business analytics bba fintech so these are hot careers yeah so this year i am sending four students to different countries for a for a course bio plus management they all want to be entrepreneurs but they want to use bio yeah in the last four years there are more than 250 medical startups in india so this is a field which has been growing and growing like anything so uh, what what how do we do structured exposure in a exposure in a structured manner i would say at least let the child get into these activities first programming free of charge you don't need private players like white junior free of charge programming how can i do so w3schools.com w number three schools.com maybe i can write in the chat w3schools.com is a site very 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 simple uh site you can sorry code academy so these are three sites for understanding basis of programming i feel whether a student is going to take science commerce humanities everyone should try out programming python you should try out uh, cyber security some basic module app making you should know how to make a website you should know yeah so these things you can immediately try out next thing is uh, uh, like if i am a 9 10th 8 9 10th student i don't understand commerce because those subjects are not present in that detail compared to science or humanities so how do I understand commerce? I can start playing some games like Money Buy by Money Control. Yeah. So Money Buy by Money Control is a is a program is a game. Sorry, you get one CR of uh, one crore virtual money. You get you invest in stocks, buy sell buy sell, and then you see whether whether you are growing that money or you are kind of uh, that money is going down. So that is Money Buy by Money Control. Similarly, one can check up few courses on Fin Ladder. Of course, for people who are more interested. So oh, you're not getting in the chat. Can you just check because I have just typed it, so I can see it. Oh, you can't see. Let me just use other. I have Q and A also. Let me see if I can on, write yeah. down here. Oh, no. I think this chat only I'm able to use. Yeah. So organizers, if you can just see why other people cannot see the chat. Okay. Meanwhile, as they organize, don't worry. I'll I'll just write it again. Don't worry about it. Uh, so money by yeah. money control. So you can listen to me and yeah, maybe I'll show it to you. I'll just show it to you. Okay. Yeah. Uh, sir, uh, over to the next question. Like uh, you were talking about the internship. No, no, I've not completed. I, I've not completed this one. Just wait for two minutes.
just two minutes. I'm just opening up certain certain things and I'll just share it with them. Uh, I'm not able to see your video. Is your video off? I'm just setting up something and I'll just share. Just give me one minute. Okay, I've got it. So, yeah, can you see? I hope this is everyone can see this. So, this is an investing yeah, yeah. game. Yeah. If a student is there in class, I've got students in class 7th, 8th also who play this. And sometimes uh, when I go to school, so teachers would say, hey, I also don't know. I tell them you also play. Yeah. It's an investing game. So what happens in this is uh, you have one crore cash. I'll just show you how to play. Of course, I have not registered right now, but I buy and sell. I think there is a disruption in your internet connection. Uh, Boss is completely broken. So, uh... Okay. Is it is it better now? I am on a good connection, but so I buy, I see the quantity. Yeah. And I do done. Okay. So then this, I have not registered, so I'll not get it right now. Similarly, second W3, W3schools.com. Very, very simple So suppose I want to learn Python. So they have CSS, JavaScript. Yeah. So I would say learn Python. I don't have to do anything, nothing. So Python gets started. Yeah. So I can just quickly do it. So many other languages also are there. All free of charge. All of these things are free yeah. of charge. Yeah. So, so that's how, that's how I can uh, build it up. Okay. I'll just uh, yeah. So I hope my voice is clear right now. Okay. So uh, good. Thank you. So next thing, next thing is so I have talked about finance. I have talked about uh, uh, programming. Next thing is entrepreneurship. A lot of people want to be entrepreneurs. A lot of people want to be entrepreneurs. So uh, what do you do? Uh, what do you do uh, for entrepreneurship when you are in school? So there are a lot of competitions. Again, I like to show you a couple of competitions. So there's a government institute called EDI Ahmedabad, and they have a very nice summer camp. So this summer camp teaches you about entrepreneurship. Similarly, there's a program by TIE even Hyderabad does it as well as Delhi called the TYE program. So I'm just showing you these programs. I'm just opening it up. I'm just showing you these two programs. I hope everyone can see this. So this is EDI Ahmedabad. This is a government uh, institute, one of the biggest and the best for entrepreneurship. So they do they do this program called uh, summer program. This is a summer camp, which is on entrepreneurship development with young people. So uh, so this camp typically happens in summers when the schools are off. A six day camp if somebody is below 16 and a 10 day camp if you're above 16 cost is around 24, 25,000 rupees for the entire stay, everything, hostel, everything they have. So it's a pretty decent institute. Second thing for entrepreneurship, children can go through TYE program. 
it is young entrepreneur program which is done by tai tai is one of the world's largest ngo helping entrepreneurs connect with each other and so on even for entrepreneurs also even for entrepreneurs also this is you know uh, a good organization but right now i am speaking of a program which is for school children so it is normally it was being done at iit delhi over 7 8 sundays uh, i have heard people like i have actually gone to the program with my students i have heard people like uh, deep kalra of make my trip i have heard people like uh, uh, sunil bichanda uh, Bich, mr bichandani of nokri.com so such kind of people have been there it is sponsored by lufthansa so you compete in a competition and if your business plan is selected you can go to us and compete yeah so uh, this program happens online as well as uh, offline like physically also okay so these are two things which uh, you can take up so for on the uh, when you talk about so, the summer camps you know uh, how yeah. basically uh, so you can say uh, when we talk about the summer camp so how yeah. how do we like how can one choose about us you know uh, the summer camp and how can one choose them which is the best how do they choose that yeah so you can see this website realecol.com ecol is the name for school so realecol.com okay. is a startup realecol.com is a startup which has lot of programs lot of programs outside like you can see junior mba now this is done by somebody mm -hmm. advertising entrepreneurship so realecol has lot of unique programs so uh, across areas a lot of children say a lot of school children say i'm not able to get an internship so there's a company called transog and they do like uh, even you can see this harvard student agencies future future doctors program yeah mm -hmm. so uh, so different programs are there on this site future lawyer program this is done by this is done by harvard students agency so students who are currently at harvard they they do this program very good exposure for school students yeah so if i want to get into law i need to understand what all is there how do i go about step by step indian us what is happening you know so thesis writing pre law lsat questions and so on so basic orientation will happen so realocal.com you'll get lot of summer programs summer camps and outside the school programs so that is one another very good so real cool of course you can see the pricing so things are charged but let me give you something which is free of charge absolutely free of charge that is google digital garage so google digital garage is done by google it is 160 courses free of charge and it is for everyone so i'll just show you it's in three categories like digital marketing career development and data so first i'll start with career development amazing courses like build confidence lot of children are not very confident digital well being people spend their time on social media they while away their time all the time yeah so sometimes on laptop sometimes instagram snapchat blah blah whatsapp yeah so how do you how do you look at your own digital well being effective networking communication how do you build up communication for storytelling and design public speaking yeah so these are all i would call them soft skills this is again i'm repeating google digital garage is free of charge 160 plus courses in total and then of course we can look at digital marketing so fundamentals of digital marketing this is a 40 hours course the certificate is recognized all over the world if you are applying to any university india abroad they will recognize you can see include certificate it's absolutely free of charge yeah so these kind of courses can help you these kind of courses can help you understand i'll just mute bagesh sir yeah these kind of courses can help you understand uh digital marketing uh and then of course third one is data so data is more of you know uh, tech so understanding the basis of code and then uh machine learning crash course elements of ai this is a very very popular course 
like ai is getting into all industries so very very important for students to learn about ai that's why cbsc has introduced ai in classrooms also yeah 30 hours course uh they also do live training apart from these courses 160 there are there is live training like how do you build a personal brand find your career goals for example how do you build up cv and write a cover letter how do you optimize your site create videos with youtube yeah so amazing programs which are done by top trainers from all over the world yeah you can see this so this guy would be a youtuber so so here you can take up a lot of courses as well as something very exciting called as nas academy what is nas academy so nasir started nas nas uh, a, a vlog nas daily and uh, he only started nas academy where you have amazing classes which is latest and a lot of students want to do it nfts so nft is non-fungible tokens so how do you understand nfts in seven days how do you play youtube shorts or reels instagram reels i'm sure everyone understand how do you again build up a business how do you become a filmmaker so nas is based in singapore and he is uh, how to be a better writer so this guy is nas how to turn an idea into a billion dollar business so ritesh agarwal who founded oyo he, it is his course dhruv rathi very very popular sound design so a lot of students want to do this they don't want old bcom ba engineering yeah how to become a content creator so you will not find these courses in the university and a lot of students would start off something maybe initially for fun but if something is going great, why not? Yeah. So, so these are some things which students can take up for exposure. So I'll just see if there's any questions in the chat. Uh, Vidya, uh, how to join the summer camp? Just check out real local, you'll find phone numbers. So they'll help you in joining the summer camp. Uh, there is a yeah, unique sure. thing like, where, uh, when you talk about the research project and you know when it gets published. So how do we uh, you know tell us if we can explain more about this research paper and how do we get it published, or if it is designed with a unique social project, how can we go about it? Or how can you train the students or something like? That? Yeah. So when it comes to research, uh, you know one could do. Uh, a primary research or a secondary research. A very small example. Uh, suppose, like my office is in Southex in Delhi. So if I if I stand in the market and uh, I count the number of people who come, and I ca keep on say, seeing people are wearing blue jeans, black jeans, green jeans, some trouser, and I keep on collecting this data. So that is primary research where I have collected some data. And I'm later on, I'll do my analysis out of thousand people who came to the market in two days. Uh, so many were wearing brown jeans, blue jeans, tattered shorts, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. So that is primary research. Or I can do secondary research where somebody has already researched on something. I will take that one, two, four places. And I come out with my own idea of what is happening in that field. So, uh, so once you have uh, i mean if you need more clarity you can look at my video on uh, my youtube channel uh, on research methodology it's a two hours video which helps in everything right from how do you look at a research topic uh, how do you ideate further on it bibliography how do you uh, how do you plan a uh, you know uh, how do you make a questionnaire how do you find out uh, which sample you should do yeah so, and so on and so forth so uh, so a research might take, I have students who have researched for like four months, five months. Uh, I have students who have researched for like maybe six days and they have come out with a small research paper. Yeah. Yeah, I'll, Vidya, I'll just take your question. Just uh, uh, Principal Prime Academy, just search for Jitin Chabla, just search for my name. Ashwarya, six class students might not be able to do internship. Uh, I mean, it's difficult for them to find, but if they're good at writing, 
maybe they might do some small work with uh, you know uh, uh, let's say there used to be a magazine called magic pot for children or uh, any 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 such place they can go for uh, you know uh, they they can kind of contribute so uh, so let's let's look at uh, some more things uh, so coming back depending yeah. on depending on how you are thinking like i had a student who wanted to go for computer science and he was interested in psychology also so we helped him make a research project on uh, emotional tech how technology can help in identifying emotions you know that that way yeah so uh, does those extracurricular activities like you no know, in schools will they build up for one's profit like kind of a music theater dance singing sports anything of that sort will it play a vital role in building a profit i uh, say again please like uh, the, the role of extracurricular activities in school maybe like a music theater dance singing sports any of this will it play a vital role in building a profile for a student uh, so answer is yes or no uh, why did i say no because uh, maybe like 6 months i do music 6 months i do sports 6 months i do something else so it is i mean it is not helping me so if i write to a university if i am writing the sop i write so many things so if i can select like two areas and build up on it then that is great you know so uh, ec activity at school i'll give you an example suppose my interest is in public speaking so i should be doing muns at school inter school i should participate in gavels club gavels is an international club so toastmasters is for adults gavels is for students so i would i would be a person who is participating in gavels clubs meetings i would uh, i might go and handle public speaking at uh, let's say interact club so i'll kind of showcase that i've been doing lot of public speaking similarly uh, if i'm a person who is good at writing so i will intern where i am able to contribute content i would write my blogs also i would work for the school magazine so this kind of an approach shows an integrated approach towards two three main activities in which i am serious and i am able to build up uh, there is one more question from vidya after third years then i will to change the profile uh, like you mentioned that you know you are also in corporate but voice is not clear over mr rakesh there is a question from vidya after 30 minutes yes uh, am i audible acha vidya vidya's question i have read that i have read that yeah yeah also yeah, answer is yeah. uh, after 30 years will the whether are uh, you can but i don't know whether you want to do it so uh, ans the answer to this you can uh, you'll have to see like what is the latest because technology might have changed over these years mm. so i have a friend of mine who was teaching at symbiosis university in pune and she also felt the same she is a food technologist so she left symbiosis joined a rice exporting company at karnal as their food technologist so and she had a gap of almost uh, 14 years so almost the same as you vidya so yes you can do it uh, but uh, you'll have to probably do the latest so if i was you i'll build up on uh, i will do latest online courses i'll check there are a lot of industry fairs which happen so any big industry fair you can go and meet people also and check what is happening in the field in terms of technology yeah and then you can you can think of switching yes like you said there uh, the technology has grown up so unless otherwise you are updated you are updated so that is the uh, feeling right now everyone would have so like every course what you upgrade yourself to be updated with the now you may not be able to match up with the technology but still you have to be updated that is what you mean to say right sir absolutely uh, and what about sir on the on the newer phases like uh, there are blogging podcast 
these are the new ones which so uh, can you just uh, share some ideas to the students so that they can be able to imbibe all this into their profile so uh, again if i'm looking at top universities they look at students who have also who are present in new media so what are these new media so maybe you have a series of uh, this thing on podcasts maybe your podcasts so i have a student who just does a podcast on good thoughts i have personally uh, i have personally used uh, uh, spotify and uh, you know i have converted my youtube videos into audios on spotify so uh, or again youtube channel so if some student is good at cooking they should have at least 30 40 videos on youtube and they should try to popularize it also so when you later on write to a university they see this as a good effort this they think the student beyond studies has done these these things if somebody is good at uh, uh, good at uh, you know emoting your acting comes to you naturally again you might have a youtube channel yeah i have a very young guy from who's who's my namesake like his name is jatin chawla my name is jatin so this guy is from sonipat but he has like uh, he has almost uh, uh, maybe 1000 times more subscribers 1000 times why because he does funny videos on hindi films yeah i do more serious stuff but i'm just sharing that that is how the children you are interacting with also can take up so depending on what skills they have something new age they can showcase maybe they make an instagram account like one of my students did on environmental sciences latest whatever is happening in the environment you know so these kind of things can help you showcase to a university or subsequently an employer that at various phases in your life you have been serious about certain things and you have actually worked towards it no and uh, like we come to end of the session sir as in conclusion uh, what are, what could what can you like you know what are the emerging options for students like when you conclude uh, no when you take up through the entire thing like the internships you talk about or the research paper or the unique social projects extra curricular activity everything put together what are the emerging options you know that you can uh, tell them for the students for the future yeah so quickly talking about career options if i am a bio student bio plus management check ucl university college london they have bsc medical and innovation uh second area computational biology which in india is called as bioinformatics third area health informatics fourth area computer aided drug design if i am a commerce student certified fraud examiner insolvency professional business analytics huge career big career fintech we all use paytm google pay we know about bitcoin all this is fintech financial services being delivered using technology finance as an area yeah directly taking up courses in finance after 12th class so for a lot of my engineer friends are actually in finance so you can after 10th you can take commerce and still work in finance or consulting which a lot of people eventually do after engineering also doesn't make any difference so it is it's such a big fallacy that indians feel that science is something great but you can do a you can do commerce and still do well you can do humanities and still do well after humanities you might work with a same firm which a science student might be working consulting mckinsey deloitte bain uh, eny all these yeah so i think first of all we all of us have to open up our minds towards possibilities for humanities students governance consulting a lot of people think of ies as a big thing think you will be in a position where you will guide ies you will work with them you will execute large projects so that area is governance consulting there are organizations like samagra governance dalberg gdi who are working with state governments and bringing about a lot of changes in digitization healthcare education yeah so any of these and then of course uh, you could look at uh, if you are a pcm student computational linguistics we all use google home or alexa so what technology do they use computational yeah. linguistics it's a mix of three things psychology computer science english and then you could look at food technology processing of food has increased so much 
So for PCM student, food technology. You can look at environmental sciences. Yeah, again a hot upcoming option. Dairy technology. Yeah. So all these are options which are emerging options which can be looked at. So uh, just check it out, guys. Uh, you can check my YouTube videos for latest information about careers. For humanities, IR is good. International relations. Yeah. ESG consulting people are getting in, environment and sustainability consulting, CSR consulting. Yeah. So just check out my YouTube. Uh, you'll get all this information and then you can be in touch with us. I wish all people all the best. Thank you, sir. That was an uh, elaborate and extensive session what you have given and you touched up all the sectors which have, you know, uh, the future scope later lies on. And the youngsters will be very helpful with this session actually. And thank you so much, sir. We even late, you spent some time with us. Uh, a valuable uh, session was also delivered for the invitees. So thank you so much from Amrita Vishwavidyadam, sir. And to all the viewers, we'll be back with another episode of Amrita Cafe with a different personality very soon.